If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome to Frugal Friday. That's the show where I share with you something really fast because I didn't have time for a regular show this week. Uh, today I want to talk about this. This is the uh, Vivitar VT4 Tripod Steady. Sometimes it's also called the Steady Pod. And what it is, is it's kind of a mini tripod that you can set up like this. It's got a little quarter 20 thread on top and a knob down here to tighten it with. Uh, I think calling this is a tripod is sort of a misnomer because it's more of a stand. There's no way to pan this head right here. It just tilts into about 10 different positions and locks down. There's no fine adjustment like a real tripod. Uh, but that's okay because I don't really use it for that. These legs here will collapse into themselves. And now you've got uh, a pistol grip. And I've shown you this before in my Zoom H1 accessories video because I use this when I use my Zoom H1 in a field recorder type setup. I've got an XLR adapter that goes on this and then the Zoom H1 on top. And I like this shape, which as you notice is sort of like a Luger pistol here because I can tuck it into my belt and then have it perpendicular to my body. So if I'm recording sound with, with a shotgun mic on the end of a boom pole, I can actually look down and see the levels that are sticking out um, instead of like say a recorder being around your neck, which is the way you see it a lot of uh, a lot of times. So, but anyway, that's what I typically use this for. But I recently had a uh, discovered a new use for this, which I wanted to share with you, and it involves this. This is my Sony uh, NEX 5N. This is the camera that I use now for stills or for narrative filmmaking. And a lot of people, you know, will take uh, these pistol grip type devices and they will attach them to the bottom of your of their camera like this. And what this does is it gives them a handhold on the bottom of their camera, obviously. So if you're going to do some kind of simple stabilization, you now have another point which you can hold your camera. And that'll work for a run and gun type of setup. However, I don't really like to do this with any kind of pistol grip anyway, because I'm just used to holding my camera. If I'm going to take stills or whatever with one finger over the shutter, uh, my right hand and my thumb is at the record button. And my left hand is uh, adjusting focus, whether I'm pulling focus for video uh, which I never do this, by the way, I use my frugal stabilizer too. But if I'm shooting stills, I'm definitely holding it like this. Uh, so one thing I didn't like about this camera, well, just the, the size of it, uh, I really like the camera, but if you hold it, if you have large hands like me and you try and hold a small camera like this for an extended period of time, your hand gets sore and it gets kind of cramped up and because it's always just being squashed like this. So I've always wanted, wanted kind of a, something that would add more uh, bulk to the camera like a battery grip or something they do have aftermarket battery grips but they're like a hundred dollars that's not really i'm not willing to pay that much just to make my camera a little bit bigger so i when i was using this today i thought about uh the vivitar grip and i thought well you know i don't really like using it like this but what happens if you swing it to the side because most of these grips are vertical and it doesn't matter which way they're attached to the camera but this one is dramatically different if you swing it to the side so now when I grab it, I can actually wrap my fingers around the lower portion of the grip here and my, my right index finger is still over the shutter. So that's great. And my left hand is now free so that I can adjust focus. So in effect, I've discovered a really inexpensive way of giving me what I wanted, which was to make my camera a little bit bigger so that I could hold it for longer periods of time comfortably. So that along with uh, you know using this for audio, I think this is a pretty good uh, find here if you're interested. Uh, right now they're on sale actually on Amazon for five dollars uh, and you're eligible for free shipping if you spend over 25 so if you've got a bunch of stuff on your wish list on Amazon you know add this for five and it might put you over the top there I think it's a pretty good pretty good find pretty good buy they're also on eBay um, for about seven to eight dollars I'll leave all links below if you want to check in the description there this has been frugal Friday and uh, have a great weekend